Hey y'all, I know y'all just seen from today's video that I'm going to give y'all the vacation house tour and layout. Um, for those that want to do my house layout, this is the video for it. I know y'all are happy, hyped that I'm finally giving it out. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get straight to the video. Okay, so of course we see, y'all already see this, the gate. Which lead us into, I don't know, I think I would call this the courtyard or just the outside. Just, yeah. But anyways, then we have, we're going to go through this entrance right here. So, this is all of the houses. Y'all already see mostly all of the houses in all of the videos that we done did in this house. Um, which I haven't seen mostly was the bathroom. Yeah, so I'm not really going to go into too detail in this because y'all know what stuff is and y'all be seeing in my videos without me explaining it. So as you know, my little delivery room, my kitchen with custom floors, my pantry, y'all didn't get to see very up close and personal. Yeah, honey, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. these kids be eating up anyways. Here's the dining table. You already know, entertainment room, movie room, back room with all the snacks. Um, over here is my room. Um, you got my closet, my bathroom, shower, a little tight, but just only for you to be in here, nobody else. Then a little privacy bathroom with toilet. Man, oh, not me hit the door. They will go head upstairs. And this house got what? I think one, two, three, about four entries to come into. All I'm going to say. But yeah, here's the loft right here where the kids be. Kalani and Naomi room. Oh, Lord. The lights. Don't mind the light, y'all. I'm so sorry. But, yeah, um, I could try and come up here. Let me see if I can come up here. I can see a little close-up on their beds. Okay, yeah, you just got to see this a little bit. And that. And then over here. Wait, look, look over here. Of course, a little dresser right there. Um, You already know Mr. Um, Desmond Room. This little Batman theme, everything. Yes, yes. Closet. Then their shared bathroom between the three of them and everything. This is all up, up in here. Well, over here is their three little playtime. Uh, what's this thing called? Balcony. A little balcony for all these to waste their energy. Then a little another entrance to Cameron's balcony. We should not go through there. Oh, wait. And then we have a front balcony where you see the front view of the house. Then over here, we have Cameron room, as y'all know. Her room, closet, and her bathroom with her balcony. And almost there. Um, yeah, we have both side. To where the pool area is in the other outside area, we're going to go to the guest house. Just a guest house. Nothing too fancy up in here. What they own. So, yeah. Y'all see, I ain't putting no effort in the closet. They just got this closet because barely nobody used it. It was just their decoration and everything. But then you have the little, you know, outside lounge. And then outside cooking utensils. And then the pool stuff. Outside stuff. And then you have the pool over here. With the little waterfall on the side into the pool, which is really cute. I really like that one. Then because it's umbrella. But yeah, this is all the tour. Nothing too fancy, to be honest. It's nothing really too fancy. And I will say this. You don't have to copy everything that you see in this video. You can um, style it up as how you like it. Like, it don't have to be like mine. It could be bright pink. You could do pastel. You could be realistic. 
do whatever. It don't have to be the same way as mine because I'm just giving y'all the house tour and y'all just getting a layout. That's all. But anyways, let's go ahead and get straight to the layout. Alright, so here we are in the first floor of the house layout. So we're going to start by the garage, I guess, and get all the little stuff for it. So right here is five, three, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then another three, then another one, then down here three, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm gonna have some numbers up here just in case y'all can't catch up with what I say. And I might move a little too fast, but I'm still put down the number for y'all. Then since you got this three right here, it's a two by three or the three by two. That's I don't know how to say it. But yeah, so you have a two walls down here, three. Then laundry room, you have a wall, right? You should have this wall already. So over here, you just add another one wall. This this should be a three, another four. Then for the stairs, you might see that I have extra walls, but that's because I had to fix the stairs in. Okay. So do two, one. Then this is a three right here for the stairs to fit. The bathroom is a two by two. Then you do you should have a one, two, three, four hallway right there. Then go to your two right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you will curve one, two, then straight one, two, then curve again one, two. Then we should have this wall right here. We're gonna do the kitchen side. You should have one, ooh, oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, either six or seven right here. I'm not sure, guys. I'm sorry. Then you have a two right here, another two, then one, two, three right there, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This wall right here. And the way I did my walls, um, you don't have to do how I did it. But, yeah, so if you want to do how I did, just put a bookshelf in there like that. But, yeah, the walls, this wall sh should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so seven right here. So this whole wall right here is all straight, except for until you turn to this one, one, and then three. No, it's not three. That's two. I'm sorry. Then two, and then one, two, three, four right here. To make the little half wall for the pantry. So after that, I just gave y'all the thing for the layout of the living room and the dining room. So we're going to move over here. So you should have a wall like this. Connected. Well, not connected, but like across from each other from the dining, the kitchen to the other hallway where the entrance door is. So from the kitchen, you could do back to a wall right here. Do a two then this wall should already be up for you. Then do a five wall right here. Then do four wall, another five. And then this should be a two and a three. So right there, three back there and two on both walls. Then when you come out here, two walls right here, slant this wall right here. Then a straight two walls right here. Then one wall, then a slant two walls. Or oh, that's one, two. Yeah, I would say that's two, even though it's slanted, but yeah. Then here we are to this room right here, to this, and then a, this gonna probably going to be the tricky part. I'm not even going to cap to y'all. This is probably going to be the tricky part right here. But this is the one, two, three, either a three or four. Hold on, let me test it out for y'all. So one, two, three. Yeah, it's three. Okay, I was right. I was right. It's three. But anyways, so this should be a three right here. And then you should have four, three wall right here, a two wall right here. And let me test this out. One, two. Yes, a two wall right here. And then behind it, you should have another two wall right here. Basically make this a whole box. This room is basically a box just slanted. And it just slant this and that. And I'll get up closer so y'all can see it. Then this wall right here is a five. Then you do a two. 
a five, a five, a two. This wall should already have, these walls should already be ready for y'all. Then you should have a four. Then we go to the bathroom. Then this wall right here is a four. This wall over here is a seven right here. This one wall should be up once again. Then you cut to one wall right here. Let me move this out the way. Sorry. Then another one wall. Then another one wall. A two wall right here. And then a two wall right here. Then for the toilet, you should know one by one by one, I think. No, it's not one by one. One by two. Right here. Just a little long little bathroom. So that's it for the downstairs on this side. If you want to have this side, then you should have all of this set up. Then right where the front gate is, you should have four walls, four blocks away from the um, other house for the guest house. So four walls right here. I would recommend starting right here and then go four walls right here. Then a four wall right here. Two, one, two, five. Then down here is a two. Then a five and another two. Then you just cut the wall for one, two, three. Cut the wall for right here so you have a closet, the bathroom, and the guest room. Then outside, so this is done. Outside, just do another wall right here. A two by one, one by two. Then we move over here. This is where I put the gates. So yeah, it's not walls right here. It's the gate, actually. So you do the gate and do four a six this is six right here so six walls right here and then for the pillars i did one one two one two one two so these all should be like two blocks away from each other and one two and then uh the pool should be three blocks away one two three the first we're gonna start on this side so the, do your gate across and then straight one two over here one two one two three a two a, a one i mean a one i'm sorry a one 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 three one one then three this is six seven eight nine so nine right here and all once again all these walls should be up for you so it's not, don't make it much harder for you then I will start by the gate by the um four right here, so it's easier to count your pool. <laughs> so then the pool is one, two, three, four, five. But to be honest, yeah, to be don't ignore the slanted parts, okay? Cause that's what we're gonna do. So it's three right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do an eight. So this is eight. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A seven for the pool right here. Then a five, a four, and there. And then you know for the little hack to make the um floor be like that, just get a flooring, do that, make a little triangle, and it should come out like that for y'all. All right, so now we're gonna focus on the outside part for the pillars. If that's for the ones who wants to use the pillars. So for your master bedroom right here, you should have a pillar right here at the end of the wall and over here. Then you will slant it. Well, not slant it, but like keep it across from this window. Then this window will have a pillar. Then across this door window, we'll have two pillars right here. And you should have these pillars already set up for y'all. If, you, if you're the ones who wants to do the pillars. So now let's go ahead upstairs. So over the garage, we have the twins. Well, not the twins. You know, I call them twins just to play around with them. But you have Naomi, Naomi and Kalani. So you have a four wall right here. Then a one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to say this is six right here. Hold on. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Yeah. So four, six. Then you have a wall right here. One, one, three. And then you should have all of this 
should be able to connect all of that because you started with this wall first. And then on the outside of the wall should have a one block right there, another block right there. If you want to change up the rooms, like you don't want to have this right here and do your own special way. Like I said, it don't have to be the same thing as mine of how everything I did it. So yeah, so that this room should be done up top of the garage. So down here on this, like only like be one, two, three, four, five away from this right here. So count five blocks and then do that four, that six, and you know, whatever. Then of course you would fill in your walls for your um stairs. Then upstairs you have your walls right here. You have a one one. Have this wall already done. So you have a two, a two, one, one, four, five, seven. No, just eight. I'm sorry, eight, four, and it should come around by the stairs. So Desmond's room is a four by three. So one, two, three, four, three, four, three. Then on this side it is a two by two for the closet. Then you come out beside the bathroom. If you want to talk about the bathroom, then add a wall right here for the little thing I have. I have it. Then it's a shower. Then this is one, two, three, four, five walls right here. Have a two wall right here. One wall for the toilet, one wall to cover the toilet, and then another wall back there. And then have a four, three wall right here. And this wall I did, I had to um cover it up because it was sticking through. So if you want to do that, you can do that like I how I did to, to hide the roof sticking out. But yeah. Then over here, beside the bathroom, is a 3x3 three three balcony. So just do a 3x3. Three, three. Do the railing, pillars, whatever you need to do. Then over here, by the front balcony, it's just a 1x4. So this all it is should be four blocks. Then you have camera room. So you have one. You have a five wall right here. So do your five wall right here. Then... You, have, you should have four walls right here. So if you already did this wall, you just need to add another wall right there. Then this is all five. Her bathroom is a two wall and three. Two and three. Beside her bathroom is a two by two. So just put two walls every everywhere right there. Then in front of this right here, this area right here, is a two by five. So you have five two five two and then next you should have the upstairs done now for the roof <laughs> the roof is kind of ghetto but ain't nobody gonna be seeing it so what i use mostly on these roof is that i use the um the slanted roof so all these roofs are slanted except for up here up here is the gamble roof so slanted roofs right here. This is um slanted as you can see. Then this is the pyramid roof. Cause I could have figured out what to put right there. This is a slanted roof. Like all of this, oh this whole area is slanted roof. Up here is the um gamble roof, the regular roof that we all like. Over here, this one is the slanted roof. And then back here is the slanted roof. And then back here. So, I'm, you might have a little confusion of how to do the um, roof over here. And get this this little baby right here. All I did was I had used a, the flat roof. And just did a flat roof like going that way. And then if you want to add a little, you know, the little um, archway, arch wall right there. You want to add that if you want, you can. And that, that is it for the um, layout. And that is it for my vacation house layout. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It might be hard to do the roof, but just keep trying and yeah. And then once again, you do not have to copy 
every single thing you've seen in my house. You could just freestyle, do your own style. They don't have to be mine. I'm just giving you guys the layout so you have the outside exterior done. And then you just decorate the inside of however you want. Don't have to copy my house. You don't. I'm telling you, you don't. You don't have to. Okay? And then the front... The reason why I didn't get the front the front courtyard because I want y'all to decorate it yourself once again because the front yard thing was kind of tricky and it was going to be hard to explain because it's a lot of curvy stuff going on and adding more stuff. But yeah. So I, matter of fact, since it's just me, I will see you guys next time. Bye.